now we'll see what are the possible interview questions on uh, BAPI function modules right you will definitely face one or two questions in every interview we'll see what are the important interview questions and I suggest you don't buy hard the interview questions right please go through the navigations and please go through the transaction codes and check whatever mentioned in the interview questions okay for example if I ask you what is the transaction code for SC 37 sorry function module don't buy hard that uh, transaction code is SC 37 so just go and open function module in SC 37 and observe this what are the options what are the important options we are using mostly using options okay observe what are the different parameters here attributes importing exporting changing tables exceptions observe everything okay don't buy heart any interview questions right so you should be able to explain the navigations not the definition right as an interviewer personally I don't like to hear about the definitions I wanted to hear from you about the navigations and the options what you have used right so that I can get some confidence on you or on the candidate that he has some knowledge on it he is familiar with creating the function modules or he is familiar with using the BAPI function modules he has practical experience in it right that kind of confidence you should give okay clear yes sir, yes, sir. yeah the first interview question the most common interview question is what is the difference between RFC function module and BAPI? What is the difference between RFC function module and BAPI? RFC module wait, can access wait, wait, all wait, SAP wait, and non SAP. Wait, wait, wait. Let's take this for RFC. Let's take this for BAPI. Okay. So the main difference, or maybe your first answer should be both RFC function modules and BAPI function modules or remote enabled function modules only. That property is same for both RFC function modules and BAPI function modules what is the processing type they are using or what is the type of function module it is remote enabled function module remote enabled function that module. is same okay okay sir So both RFC and BAPI are remote enabled function modules. Then what is the what is the another important difference? How RFC is different BAPI? Since we are saying that both are RFC function modules, both BAPI and RFC. So the other important difference is the exceptions. 
RFC function modules can contain exceptions. Right? RFC function modules yes, may have exceptions to handle the errors. But BAPI function modules BAPI cannot have return exceptions. Right? BAPI function modules cannot have exceptions. Why? Because BAPI function modules can be used in uh, non-SAP systems. Right? BAPI function modules can be used in non-SAP systems where non-SAP systems cannot understand what is sub-RC, what is exception. We cannot handle errors in non-SAP system using SY sub-RC, right? That's why we are not going to use exceptions. Instead of exceptions, we are using a exporting parameter that is return with type BAPI return to. So this contains the type of the error is it success failure warning and uh, the corresponding message what is the reason for error or if it is successful the message contains success message right so what is the another important uh, difference So since RFC function modules are calling in another SAP systems, so sub-RC can be handled in any SAP system, right? But what about BAPI? BAPI uses a return parameter to handle the errors because non-SAP systems cannot the exceptions or cannot, cannot handle the exceptions. Non-SAP systems cannot handle the exceptions that is the another difference right this is very important difference also clear yes, sir. and one yes, sir. more difference go to the importing and observe the structures and i am opening one of the structure observe the names what are the names they are using in uh, bapi uh, structures are they using technical SAP technical names or uh, generic names? So in BAPI structures, uh, we are using easy to like uh, the names which we use in the real world or normal world. So SAP name, if you take material, what is the field name of material? In SAP, what is the actual field name of material in SAP? For material name, Matner. it is Matner. So, as a SAP consultant, you can understand or I can understand what is Matner. But these BAPI function modules can be consumed by non SAP systems also, right? When they are using, when they are calling this BAPI function module to pass the importing parameters to inputs, 
are they able to understand what is matner bookers lifner these kind of names no right they need some help again they need some help from any sap consultant to create the pro to create or to build their business logics right to avoid that complexity in bapi function modules always we, we have to use uh, plain names for the fields so that non sap users non sap system users can easily understand the field name and what is the required input for the field clear it is not a it is not even a big difference but whenever we are creating the bapi we have to keep this in mind okay always use plain names when these bapis are going to be consumed by non sap systems okay use plain field names example matner as a material like that okay that is the another difference if you go to any rfc function module we are not going to follow this we can use all the technical names okay so i am not saying that if you don't use this kind of names uh, the bap is not going to work but it is recommended to use uh, plain field names in bapi function modules because these are consumed by non sap systems okay clear is everyone clear yes sir so that these are the important differences these are the important differences between uh, rfc function module and bapi function module clear it is very important interview question exceptions is the very important difference we use errors we use error handling by using exceptions in rfcs but in bapis we use return parameter the type is bapi return to okay and uh, this is the another major difference we use uh, plain field names we don't use sap technical uh, even sap did not use technical names in the bapis right even when we are creating a custom bapi function module these are all standard bapis right whenever we are creating a custom bapi function module we should also follow the same procedure clear we can create our own bapi function modules just like creating custom function modules defining importing exporting parameters and with a return parameter right so this is these are the important difference these are enough okay these are enough also they'll ask you the difference between bdc and uh, 
BAPI. Okay, so both both can be used for data migration. BDC follows uh, screen processing, but BAPI follows direct table update. So BAPI is faster than BDC. We don't need to record the screen processing. We, do, we don't need to record the screens when we are using BAPI function module. So when there is a requirement, first always check for BAPI availability. If there is no BAPI available, then only go for BDC programming. Okay. That is very important. You have to justify that there is no BAPI available for the current requirement so that I am going to use BDC. Okay. BAPI is convenient. Sometimes when there are system upgrades, we are recording the screens right in BDC. So even SAP is going to release new version of the software every year. By optimizing the programs, by improving the performance, by adding the additional functionalities. Sometimes there would be a change in the program, standard program and screen numbers. But you are using a recording steps right in BDC. If there is any change in screen numbers or programs, your BDC is not going to work properly after any system upgrades. That's why we recommend a BAPI function module as much as possible. Okay. Clear. Is everyone clear on that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Also, there are specific type of transactions called, uh, we call them as enjoy transactions like ME21N, 22N. We have some specific transactions where we cannot record all the fields. We cannot record all the field values. We cannot capture all the field values like long text fields where we enter some descriptions. That is also one of the limitation of BDC. We cannot populate data for uh, those long text fields and we cannot record those long text fields. For the example transactions are ME21N, 22N. Purchase order creation, purchase order change. For that reason also, we recommend only BAPI function modules, BAPIs for those kind of requirements. Okay. If there is no BAPI available, then only we go for BDC. Don't confuse between the differences between RFC and BAPI and BDC and BAPI. Okay. RFC and BAPI are differences between the two different function modules. Both are RFC function modules, but there is a difference in error handling and defining the importing parameter structures. Okay. Is everyone clear on this? Yes, so you yes, can sir. create your own BAPI function modules. You can create your own BAPI function modules. Those called custom BAPI function modules. Okay. So only the difference is we don't use exceptions. We use return parameter in those custom BAPI. And uh, we can also enhance uh, standard BAPI function modules with additional fields. Right. We can also enhance standard BAPI function modules with additional fields. Okay.